Oh, I, I think, I think we might be live. What is up, YouTube fam? It is Caroline here. So excited and delighted that we have the opportunity today to celebrate 300,000 of us. 300,000 people behind the message of movement as medicine. So today we are going to celebrate with an all levels, fun and uplifting, positive movement session. We'll be doing some chair exercises. We'll be doing some floor exercises. We'll be doing a little bit of breath work and meditation. But I just want to thank you for being a part of this community and being here today to celebrate this special moment for all of us to share together. So what I would love from you is to say hi in the chat to tell me where you're tuning in from live. I'm tuning in from San Diego and I would love to hear what your favorite YouTube videos are, your favorite exercises. Tell me in the chat because you know, I might need to incorporate them into today's workout. So if you missed a little bit of the intro, we're going to do a few exercises in the chair. We're going to do a few exercises standing with a chair. And then we're going to do a few exercises on the mat and finish with a little bit of breath work and meditation. I wanted to touch on all of our favorite exercises from this channel and an assortment of the different videos that we've enjoyed together over the years. And I've been on... YouTube for 11 years. So it's been 11 years of growing this community, which is crazy, crazy. So we're 300,000 strong today and who knows where we can be tomorrow. And with your support is being a part of this channel, you know, we can grow and we can help other people find a positive relationship to exercise, use movement as medicine and feel really good in their bodies. And that is my mission in life, is to help people enjoy movement and live a healthier lifestyle with a more positive relationship to themselves and to fitness. So I appreciate your support in doing so. Oh, I love reading all of these comments. Oh my goodness, Indiana, Puerto, Re Puerto Rico. Oh my gosh, Alabama. Yeah, let's go, Canada. I love it. I've been to Canada one time. I need to get back there. Um, but if you are joining us now, please tell us where you're joining in live from. Um, it's so cool to be here as a part of this community. And really quick, before we get started, if you have not already joined us on Patreon, it would really help continue this channel to its goals of growing. Patreon is supporting this channel in providing free content on the internet, and I cannot do this work without all the Patreon supporters. So please join us on Patreon. The Patreon links will be included in the description box below this session. Um, so your support will help us continue to grow this community and this work. Um, and hopefully if Patreon keeps growing, we can keep this channel afloat. So thank you for joining us live and considering joining us on Patreon. Okay, I have chatted forever and ever and ever. Um, I'm so glad, ooh, Solana Beach, you're really close to me. I love Solana Beach. Now I, I get distracted when you guys tell me all the things, um, but I am really looking forward to getting started. Meet me on your chair and remember this is an all levels workout. Just, we're just here to have fun. We're just here to have fun, move our bodies, celebrate, celebrate each other, celebrate the gift of being healthy and being here, okay? So no pressure, enjoy today's session, have a good time and hopefully, you get to use the replay if you wanna get a good workout. So meet me on your chair. And just as a heads up, if someone can tell me in the chat, can you guys hear me okay? Someone give me a like, yes, we can hear you. You're, you know, you're loud enough. I can hear you in my sleep, Caroline. You tell me to do chair burpees all the time. Okay, great. Thank you so much for letting me know. Okay, so there's my chair. We're gonna start with chair exercises today, folks. So meet me on your chair. Oh, it's so good to see you. And let's just, just to, before we get started, let's just do a little shimmy and shake. And you can high five someone in the chat. Tell them you're so happy that they're here and that we're all here to support each other in moving and feeling our very best. We're going to begin with a side body stretch and reach. So we're going to reach and stretch and reach and stretch. So no matter where you're joining in from, what time it is, wherever you are, 
We'll start our workout with a really good warm up, stretching and mobilizing the body, letting ourselves feel good. Because I believe that exercise can feel good, that it doesn't need to be a sweaty hour of exhausting, crazy, you know, running through the muck kind of work. It can just be movement, challenging your body in a healthy way, exploring your full potential and leaving feeling better than when you walked in. So our goal today is to move to feel good, to have more energy at the end than at the beginning. All right, so I wanna hear where you're coming in from, what your favorite exercise is in the chat, and if you're having a good time so far. I know I am, I can feel you with me. This is live. We're doing this together in real time. This is not a pre-recorded video, folks. I am here with you right now. We're moving together. Give me one more each side and arm jumping jack. So just open and close those tight shoulders and chest muscles. I have to tell you, I just got three new orchids and they're smiling at you right now. Orchids are the only plant I've managed to really keep alive and they just have good positive energy like this community. So my orchids are here. You know, just helping us out today in our workout. Keep that arm jumping jack going. I want you to open and stretch the shoulders and chest. Now, today is all levels, so it's not going to be a really crazy intense chair workout because I want everyone to feel comfortable to move their body at a pace that feels right for their own needs, okay? So feel free to intensify this workout by adding weights or speed. And feel free to modify this workout by slowing down and listening to your body. I'm just so dang happy that you're here with me today and I can feel your energy pouring through the screen. All right, we're going to reach our arms up. We're going to go a knee hug and stretch. So give me a good hip stretch. Bring the knee in towards the chest. Stretch your back muscles. Whew. Oh, yeah, these little shoe things people always ask. These are toe socks. I think they're actually based out of San Diego. And I love toe socks. They're grippy on the bottom. They come in all sorts of different patterns. And these ones have rhinestones on them, you know, because I'm kind of a queen sometimes. <laughs> all right, keep that knee hug and stretch going. Movement is medicine. Let's have a good time today. Let's move and breathe. Oh, I already feel so good. How are we doing? Give me some emojis in that chat box. My favorite emoji is the mermaid, because I swim. And the second favorite is the dolphin, because I think the dolphin is might be my spirit animal. <laughs> but I want to hear what your favorite emojis are, where you're tuning in from. Good. Keep that going. And relax. Let's do a goal post jack. So you bring your arms together. You're going to open the legs, open the arms, and bring it in. And again, if you want to pick up the pace, do it. If you want to go slower, do it. Your body moves at its best speed when you listen to it and honor it. Good. Keep it going. Out and in. Nice and strong. Squeeze those inner thighs. You can lean back for a little more core work, but make sure that whatever you're doing, you're doing it with the corners of your mouth turned up. That's right. Because we know smiling is very, very advanced. Good. Squeeze the arms in. Whoo! Who's feeling it? It's funny because I don't always track on my Apple Watch. And sometimes when I do chair cardio, my Apple Watch will ask me if I'm running. <laughs> I'm like, wow, all right. I guess chair cardio actually is some workout, huh? I think so. Keep that arm jumping jack going. Breathe. Whoo! How we feeling? Give me some love in that chat. We're here to celebrate. We're going to party today. We're gonna have a good time. Nice, now let's do rainbow arms knee. Rainbow arms and knee. This is my party exercise, baby, hey. Rainbow arms, give me a knee raise. Breathe, good job. I'm sweating, it's hot here in San Diego. I hope it's warm and sunny where you are. And even if it's not, you brought your own sunshine to the party today. <laughs> good, paint the ceiling with your fingertips. Get Longer and bigger, longer and bigger. Good job. Nice. I'm so proud of you for taking the time out of your day to move, 
so that you can feel good and live a longer, healthier life. That's what it's all about. Train hard, train smart, and have a good dang time while you're at it. <laughs> nice job. Hang it. You got it. Breathe and relax. Let's go. Cross body punch. My favorite exercise. I think this is my favorite chair cardio exercise. Good. And again, I want to thank those of you who are supporting this work on Patreon. You're keeping me going. You're keeping me going. I wouldn't be here without you. So for those of you who have not joined us on Patreon, please, please do so so we can keep this channel going and keep sharing live workouts just like this together. Keep your punch, breathe, go straight across. Actually, the Patreons are the reason we're filming this live today. So woo, all right, people. Let's give them some love in the chat. Say thank you, Patreon. So for those of you who are in the chat box, thanks for being here. All right, give me that punch. Stay with it side to side. You got it. Get some energy out, get some stress relief. Woo, how are we doing? You got it. Beautiful punches side to side. And chair run, go. Lean back and run, lean back and run. Nice job. Four, three, two, and relax. Chair jacks, out and in. So here's the deal. Here's the tea, honey. We're gonna chair run and jumping jack in between. So two exercises. Chair run to jumping jack. You with me? You're with me. You're here. You're live. This is a live party, baby. All right. Chair run. Go. Run it out. Pump those arms. Give me the most chair running you can. And jumping jack. Go. Remember, you go slower or faster. Do you, boo. You do you. Do what makes you happy. Life is too dang short, baby. It is. So if it's stressing you out, you're doing it wrong. Keep it going. Lift that chest. Ready? Chair run, go. Hey, ha. Give me some noise. I want you to wake up those neighbors. People should be like, what the heck is going on up there? I think I want to join her, him, her, whatever. Get people to go. That sounds like a fun time. Woo! Ready? Jumping jack. Out and in. I always laugh because my windows are open. So the whole neighborhood knows what's happening right now. They're like, geez. I want to do some chair cardio. That sounds really fun. Ready? And last time, run. Go. Nice and strong. Pump the arms. Lean back. Use your core. You can go faster. I bet you can. Trust me, you'll be fine. Go, 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 go. Hey. Yeah. We're waking up the world. 300,000 and counting. Jumping jacks. Find your breath. You got it. Find your breath. It's good to feel your body. It's good to feel. Get out of your mind and into the moment. We're here together. We're moving. And we're so grateful for the gift of health. Nice job. Side punch and go. So we're back. We're back here. We're right back here. This might give you a chance to catch your breath, to feel really good in yourself to get out any negative energy or to let self-limiting thoughts that you feel might be holding you back, just get them out. The body is amazing. It's amazing. Your body is amazing. And you can do hard things. Oh, wait, keep moving. It says that on my mug. You can do hard things. I made it. I made it because it's one of my favorite things. I believe it. You, got, you can do hard things. You just have to believe. Good. You're doing great. Nice job. And relax. Let's do a little jumping jack out and in with the thighs and the arms. And again, if you're feeling good, if you're having fun, I want to hear in the chat box all about it. I want to hear how you're doing, what your favorite exercise is. We're going to do some mat work too today. So don't worry. It's not all seated. We want to do hit all, all the fan favorites on this channel, shall we say. Yeah, fan favorites. Good, you got it. Hold, strong, breathe, and relax. Nice job. We're going to do a little bit of a Russian twist. So sit on the end of your chair, or you can sit on the end of your chair this way and lean back. There's two versions. Pick one that works. Lean back, reach your arms, and we're going to twist to the side. So now we're doing a seated 
core exercise. And this will end our chair exercises before we transition to some standing chair exercises, okay? So again, if you're new or you're dealing with limited mobility or some challenge that prevents you from standing, please feel free to continue with your favorite chair moves, but stay with us, stay with us. We're here as a community, we support each other in moving, no matter what that looks like, okay? So keep that Russian twist going, lean back, you should feel your abs. Do you feel your abs? I hope so. Good, you've got two more. One more each side. And relax, nice job. Okay, stand up. We're gonna take the end of the chair and you wanna make sure that you have it in front of you for support, okay? We're going to do an assisted squat. This is to help you mobilize your hips and activate your glutes. So your hands go on the chair, your abs are nice and tight. Now, like a ballerina, you're gonna drop your hips down and you're gonna stand up and squeeze your bottom. Okay, so we're going down and up. Now, chair fitness does tighten the hip flexors. So it's so important that if we're doing chair exercises, we need to balance that with hip extension. Exercises that work the glutes, that stretch the hamstring, excuse me, stretch the quads and the hip flexors. Because when we do a lot of chair work, it's a lot of knee flexion. So we have to balance the body. We have to balance the body. If we're doing knee flexion, then we need to do hip extension, okay? So we're gonna open up the hips a little bit, do some hip extension exercises so that your body feels really good at the end of this workout. You with me? Give me a thumbs up in that chat box if you're with me. We gotta make sure that we're smart with our bodies because you only get one. You can't return it on Amazon. So let's take good care of it, shall we? We've got those assisted squats and relax. Now we're gonna do an assisted kickback. So your hands are on the chair. You're gonna go back with your leg like so. You curl your heel to your butt and then extend. Heel to butt, extend. So when we're doing chair cardio, that's knee flexion. So now we're doing hip extension. We're trying to stretch hamstring, excuse me, stretch hip flexors and quads. Words are hard, apparently. And we're also going to use our glutes and our hamstrings. Feel that butt muscle working. Good. Now, can you stand up taller? Can you engage your tummy muscles more? If you're still in the chair, I want you still doing some chair running. You should chair run the whole time. <laughs> That would be evil. Okay, last one. Good, switch sides. So other leg goes back. You're going to stand up real tall. Use the chair for support. Curl and extend. One leg will probably be easier than the other. The hamstrings typically are weaker on most people. And it's so important to strengthen them because stronger hamstrings help prevent injuries and improve performance. So you want to take the things that are hard for you and make them your focus. And like what I said earlier, the human body is amazing. If you practice, you will make progress. Isn't that cool? It's so cool. Your body's gonna surprise you. Good, I just want four more. Keep that curl going. Breathe, stand up taller. You're doing awesome. Last one. Okay, we're gonna work the hips. You're gonna stand up nice and tall. You're gonna go out to the side and in. Out to the side and in. We're using the chair as assistance. If you don't need the chair, then check you out, go for it. You have the option, the chair is right there. All right, we're moving in to our final standing exercises before we transition to the floor for some mat work. So, you know, stand up tall, don't let that invisible crown slip. I hope you're sweating. You should feel your hips and maybe even your tummy muscles. Good, last two. And last one, okay, we're gonna switch sides. I might go this way just so I don't kick the wall. Up and down. This I call a standing Jane Fonda leg lift. And it's another great exercise for hip stability and injury prevention and performance enhancing. Don't you just love knowing all the benefits? I mean, basically exercise is really good for you. Who thought? <laughs> Movement is medicine. Yeah, I believe that if, we can help more people use movement as medicine. The world is going to feel so much better mentally and physically. And isn't, wouldn't that be so cool if we can continue to grow as a community and help people adopt a healthy, positive relationship to movement? Last one. Good. And relax. Okay. Last exercise standing, we're going to do a sit to stand. This is how I teach people how to squat all the time. 
because you know how, but sometimes we forget. So we're feet are in front of the, the chair. We're going to sit down. We're going to stand up. That's it. Ready? Go. Down and up. Now I want you to keep your knees behind your toes. And if you have added weights to this, you can add weights to your chest. You could have weights to your side, but I want your abs turned on. Keep your abs at the party. This is a 300,000 person party and we are partying with our abs today. Am I right? Are you with me? Bring your abs to the party. Okay, down and up, squeeze your butt. The sit to stand squat is such a great exercise. It's perfect for activating the glutes during a long work day or just getting some energy out when you need a little burst of positive energy. Good. And we'll do two more. Nice and easy. Last one. And relax. Okay. On to our mat work. So you can move the chair to the side. Hydration station if you need it. Water. Mm-hmm. From your cute mug that you made. Pretty cool. We're going to lay down into our hip bridges. So again, we did a whole bunch of knee flexion with the chair cardio. We need hip extension. So you're on your mat, feet are flat, shoulders are down and back. Tuck your pelvis, you lift your hips, squeeze your butt, and lower. All about the booty. The butt is one of the best muscle groups to help strengthen better movement patterns. So we wanna keep our butt really strong and active so that our knees hurt less, so that we feel better in our bodies, in ourselves. Good, keep squeezing the glutes up and down. We're just gonna do a few core exercises here on the mat. I am so grateful that you're here. Thank you, thank you, thank you for being here. Keep your hips going up and down. We've got dead bugs on deck next, my favorite. Last one, good, and relax. Okay, bring your hands to the tops of your knees. You're gonna go same arm, same leg. Reach out, then bring it back to center. Same arm, same leg. You wanna create, let me not hit my ball. You wanna create resistance with the opposing arm and thigh. So push your hand into your knee, push your knee into your hand, keep your back flat on the floor. Now, if you're an OG on this channel, you know we do dead bugs all the time. I have to be honest, I was just telling a client this earlier, these just never get easy. <laughs> they're always hard, but they're like broccoli for your body. They help so much with core stability. So we do a lot of dead bugs because you know, the dead bug is a classic. It's always good for you. Good, let's do one more each side and last one and relax, hands by your side. You're gonna let your feet fall, and all I want you to do is curl your tailbone up off the floor using your abs. So this is a reverse curl, and actually less movement equals better for your core. It's a little bit harder. So you don't wanna be like, woo, party all over. I know it's a party, but you know, <laughs> we wanna keep you in control. So little reverse curl and lower down. You should feel those lower abdominals saying, Hello, it is so nice to meet you. Good, curling up and lowering down. We are gonna do a hollow body hold in two reps, another favorite of mine. All right, now you can keep your head on the mat or you take your hands behind your thighs. You're gonna curl your shoulders up off the floor. Use your thighs if you need to. You extend your legs straight. Squeeze your butt, curl your heels in to touch each other, engage your inner thighs and hold. This is a hollow body hold. Now, feel free to stay here and with your knees bent or let your head rest on the mat. You choose a you choose a party move that suits you. Your party outfit, hold your hollow body hold. You can also do hands behind the head for neck support. Keep breathing and squeezing and thinking all the positive things. We're going to hang out here for 4, 3, 2 and 1. Knees come in. I can't have a party without a bicycle. It just can't happen. So we come up and we're gonna opposite shoulder to knee, bicycle crunch, letting the head fall in the hands, breathing and thinking positive thoughts. The mind is everything in what you experience. So I want you to think about how you can strengthen a more positive mindset. And part of that, of course, will help 
exercise will help with that. But it's just choosing thoughts that support your best interest. So let's choose some right now. Bicycle side to side, feeling the core, sweating a little bit. Yeah, that's what's up. Let's try for four and three. You're doing great. Two more and one. Okay, it's time for a party plank. Final exercise before we stretch. Meet me on your mat. You can do your hands. You can do your forearms. You can do your knees. I'll show you all the options. So you tuck your toes, lift your hips to a plank on your hands or a plank on your forearms or a plank on your knees. You do you, honey. Let's see what you got for me today. Shoulders down and back. Squeeze your butt. Now, we just had that big rant on positive thoughts. Are you thinking a positive thought right now? You always know you're in a good spot if you can say, you know what? I can do this. I can do this. Breathe. I want you to take a moment right now to be so proud of yourself for showing up, for trying new things, for moving your body, and choosing to live in the moment today to be healthy and part of a community that's helping the world use movement as medicine for mental and physical well being. Good job. Take another deep breath in this plank. Hmm. And let it out. Good. Drop your knees to the mat. Sit your hips back towards your heels into what we call child's pose. You can let your forehead rest on the floor as you inhale deeply. And exhale completely. Now, it's so important that we do a little bit of a stretch. So we're going to meet in tabletop position for cat cow. Round the spine, arch the back, tuck the chin. And then let your belly go down towards the floor as you look up. Do it again, round and tuck, belly in, chin tucks. And then belly down, look up. Find a neutral position and then meet me in a kneeling, what we call proposal lunge. So in your proposal lunge, I'll start on this side so you all can see. You wanna zip up your belly, squeeze your back butt cheek. And if you need to do this standing, you're just gonna be right here, okay? So if putting pressure on your knee, I want you standing, same exercise. We gotta stretch those hip flexors. So abs tight, squeeze, same arm as leg behind you, lifts up, good. And then we're gonna tilt like I'm a little teapot. You should feel a stretch in the front of your hip, good. And you should start to feel all of the positive things you just created through that workout. Good, bring it to center, let's switch sides. So we're gonna take one foot forward, one knee on the mat or standing lunge, whatever floats your boat. Abs tight, squeeze the back butt cheek. Same arm as leg behind, we reach up and we tilt over to the side. Good. I can't tell you how sincerely grateful I am for you. I hope that you can feel that. I hope those of you who joined live could see how much I'm there. I'm just there with you right there. All the time. You are in my heart with every moment that I work to create. So I just want to express my deep gratitude and thanks for you for being a part of this work. Good. We're going to take it to center. You're going to stand up. We're going to do a little bit of a forward fold. Okay. So your feet are about hip distance apart. You're going to reach your arms up towards the ceiling. Bend your knees as much as you need to as you hinge down towards the floor. Letting your arms fall wherever they fall letting your head rest, and just noticing you feel a nice deep stretch in the backs of the thighs. From here, you can grab hold of opposite elbows, let your head go, and if it feels good, you can rock side to side. I want you to release any tension that might be lingering in your body so that you can move forward for whatever the day has planned for you next. Let your arms rest down towards the floor. Slowly roll up, one vertebra at a time. Roll your shoulders up, down, and back, and flip your palms towards the front. Softly close your eyes, let your shoulders drop, and take a deep breath. Inhale. And exhale. 
with your eyes closed, I want you to notice how you feel. And I want you to take a moment to think about what you're grateful for. Slowly open your eyes and all together as a community, let's breathe in one more time. Inhale and exhale. And let's all right now, huge round of applause, round of applause in both, in both directions, both directions, round of applause. Little shimmy and shake, little shimmy and shake. Did you have fun today? Because I don't know about you, but that was one heck of a good workout. We did everything. We did chair, we did standing, we did mat work, and we even finished with a little gratitude meditation. So I want to hear from you in the comments. I'm just going to come up here so I can read some of them. And oh my goodness, all of you, thank you so much for your emojis, for your support. I really hope that you enjoyed this workout and I hope you can use the replay if you want to do more of a class type setting. If you did enjoy the class, please become a Patreon. We need your support to continue. The pandemic has been very hard on the financial status of the channel. So if you can donate and you're in a position to help keep this channel afloat, Patreon links are included below in the description box, or you can go to patreon.com backslash Caroline Jordan Fitness. That would be the best way to help this work and to continue to see videos just like this. I also want to hear if you are interested in more live classes. I'm considering doing weekly live classes and also weekly live class challenges. So, you know, say we did a Monday, Friday class that would be live every single week. Um, and you would get accountability and support and coaching with me live. So if you're interested in that, definitely please comment below. And um, I just can't thank you guys enough for being a part of this very special community. And 300,000, we're just getting started. So I will be updating you with all of the upcoming events and live classes that we'll be sharing together. And I hope you had a great workout today, you guys. I I'm sending you so much love from San Diego, and I hope we get to share another live workout again soon. Take it easy, comment and say hi to any of your fellow YouTube friends, and team, great work today. I love you so much. Have a wonderful rest of your day. I'll see you soon. Bye.